Yeah, Americans are fucking stupid, am I right? <laughs> oh yeah, fuck yeah, I love this song. This game's soundtrack was so good. Nothing beats the Modern Warfare 2 soundtrack, but this one is right up there with it. That one... You know, that's a really underrated thing about Call of Duty. Call of Duty usually has such awesome soundtracks. Like, Modern Warfare 2, obviously. Uh, Black Ops 1. I, I shit on Black Ops 1's multiplayer all the time, but the rest of that game is just so fucking fantastic. Uh, Infinite Warfare, amazing soundtrack. All of it is on Spotify, too, so you can go and listen to it. I really suggest... For anyone that ignored Infinite Warfare, go listen to that soundtrack at least, because it's so damn good. <laughs> I, I'm getting the hiccups now? Oh, that's great. Content at its finest. Oh man, this is so fucking cool. It really is, dude. Oh, the soundtrack, the helicopters. Playing as your fucking, playing as the fucking, the Marines. Oh, this is just so cool, dude. I remember first playing this. Just, oh man. I always tried to run ahead of the barbed wire over here. <laughs> I always tried to do that. Dude, Lieutenant, whoever the voice actor for Lieutenant Vasquez is, is a fucking maniac. Yeah, alright. Flashbang, through the door. Oh, your show sucks. I fucking died on recruit. I died on recruit. I actually died on recruit. Let me pick up the shotgun. I have to remember I have the significant advantage because I'm pretty much essentially Duke Nukem on recruit. a positive ID on all of all. Uh, one of one of the things that I always have wanted to do is be one of the multiplayer announcers in Call of Duty. Like, like you have no idea how much I've always wanted to do that. I I feel like it'd just be so much fun. Like. And it would just make the game so much better for me, because it would just be me screaming, like, our UAV is online. Counter UAV is up, they're blind. And shit like that. Hashtag, get Colvino as a multiplayer announcer. Scorpio Spartans online. Just in case if anyone wanted to know. Who is that? I don't know. I remember I had a I had a friend on Xbox who was literally named Johnny Sins. If you guys don't know who Johnny Sins is, he's an absolute legend. He was a doctor, mailman, pizza delivery man. He he did it all. He was Jack of all trades. He's Jack of all trades. One of the most hard-working men you'd ever see. And his work is incredible. 
If I was monetized on YouTube, that's where I'd lose it right there. I, I knew the I know the uh, getting outside of the map thing is like right around here, I believe. I don't remember how to do it, but anyway, here's uh here's the map ambush. I think that's why a lot of these maps in COD 4 were so damn good. Well, it's because they were areas from the campaign, and you may think that's lazy, but in reality, it just keeps you familiar with the game, and it makes the maps, like, easier to remember, and they just makes it more familiar, which, which is why I think those maps are actually, it's like, so fantastic. Can you hop on this? I don't remember if you could. No, you can't. Oh, wait. Or can you? No, you can't. Okay. There you go. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Strafe jump. <laughs> I think uh, my series of videos from here up until Modern Warfare is going to be nostalgia-based things regarding the Modern Warfare series. What I really wanted to do is uh, go back and do a bunch of the old glitch spots on this game. Like uh, in my in my five maps that I should that I want to see in Modern Warfare, I uh, I one of them is Crossfire, and in that vi in that short like thirty second clip that I got for B roll, I uh, I did the glitch spot on that map where you like uh, you get all the way to the top of that third story building and like. Like fucking Jesus walk on air and shit. I, I want to go back and do all those fucking glitches on Crossfire, Backlot, Lock, all of those. I feel like it'd be a lot of fun. I, I, I'm, I can't do elevator glitches. I was never able to do that. But like the jump spots, I, I could probably do. Oh no, this is where you got outside the map. Let me see if I can... I don't remember how to do it, though. Is this... Yeah, yeah, you go like this. And then... Let's see if I remember how to do this at all. Yeah, and then you, like, do this or some shit. Yeah, you do something like that. And here's... And, uh, here's Broadcast. One of the most underrated DLC maps of all time. Uh, Call of Duty's maps used to be so fucking good. Like, for those who, like, missed out on these older Call of Duty games, say you started at, like, uh, I know a lot of new-gen Call of Duty players started at Black Ops 3. So, and at that point, Call of Duty's maps just became very basic and very simple. And, uh, just kind of just reiterated the same thing over and over. Because, uh, obviously Call of Duty took a more competitive, uh, aspect at that time. Or was beginning to do that, and yeah, they were, and the developers were way more focused on making competitive, uh, competitive heavy and supported maps. It kind of all started in Black Ops Two, and Black Ops Two's maps were very good. Like, don't get me wrong, like they were very good. It's just that you know a lot of them didn't do, like obvious, a lot of them didn't. Uh, like, you know, they weren't, like, insanely, like, creative and unique, but they flowed really well, which is what was that game excelled at. Like, you know, maps like Standoff, Hijacked, Raid. Like, they were fantastic maps and very good and uh, very good competitive maps, but I feel like that's when Call of Duty, like, decided to go this competitive heavy route and... It was good in Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is probably the pinnacle of Call of Duty. Like, a lot of people... Like, you can definitely make the argument for that game being the best Call of Duty in the series. And for me, it's the second best. For me, obviously, you know, my favorite is Modern Warfare 2. But Black Ops 2 is a very close second. And I'm pretty sure if you asked anyone... Literally anyone... Most people... Like, if you ask anyone what their favorite Call of Duty game is... You will most likely either hear Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops 2. Because, honestly, I think those are the best two games in the series. Those 
those games did Call of Duty at its best in two opposite ways. Like, Modern Warfare 2 was amazing for just how fucking over-the-top ridiculous it is. And there's just the sheer and utter chaos of that game just made it so much fun to play. Like, that game was not competitive in the slightest, but it was just so fucking fun that it was addicting. Albeit fucking frustrating, but so fucking addicting. And Black Ops 2, however, was literally almost the opposite. Like, it, the game the game was still chaotic fun, but it was definitely more competitive based and it was centered around being balanced and it did that to almost near perfection. Can you can we open the doors please? Thank you. So I, I, I don't know what we're gonna get with Modern Warfare because Modern Warfare I it's just it like honestly the opinion of Modern Warfare just fucking flipped on a dime. Like that. Oh, here's my boy. My fucking boy. It's deep and it's hard, bitch. Right, Kriggs? Hell fucking yeah, dude. Oorah, double time. That means you, Menendez. That's not even Modern Warfare. <laughs> Randy, ba -ba -da -ball. Wow, that was entirely racist. But yeah, like, the, the opinion of Modern Warfare has just, like, literally just switched so heavy because i remember when before we saw any gameplay or anything and like all the news that was coming about the game was so fantastic to hear you know obviously it, going back to modern warfare was awesome then the i and then the thing for that cross play uh free dlc at launch uh, everyone gets the maps at the same time. All the, all the fucking features that we were talking about coming out. Like, this game's opinion was just so, so high. But this game, everyone's opinion on this game was just so high. And then, like, I feel like it all changed with the beta. Like, you know, people played the beta and they, everyone, well, a lot of people thought it was campy. A lot of people didn't like the maps. And I like the maps because I like the maps being a little more creative. Because like I'm an old school Call of Duty player, I'm I'm used to those kind of maps. And yeah, they they were a little confusing. Like they weren't perfect. They definitely were not perfect. But I feel like if I played on them more and got the chance to, I would have probably liked them more. Like I like those maps. It's just that you know that's I think what happened is a lot of people got so used to the way maps are now. Like from the past five years of COD that. Like, you know, it's not even worth it anymore to try and, you know, be as dynamic as these old games. Like, obviously, you know, the Call of Duty's changed. Like, it's not what it used to be. And, you know, people got used to a different thing, so it might take a little bit. And I, I get that, you know? Like, things change, and you can't have it... I'm trying to put my thoughts into words. I'm just I'm not good at that. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> and yeah, and then like all the... I think it really started to go downhill with all the... With the fucking survival exclusivity bullshit because like that's fucking garbage like i don't care what you say like that is such a shitty fucking move because what they want you to do is because like it seems insignificant the, 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 a part of spec ops but this is what they want you to do they want you to get suckered in to buying another 300 hundred dollar console which is going to be out of date in a year pay for a subscription for PlayStation Network, and then rebuy Modern Warfare. So let's say a PS3 is going PS3, PS4 is going for what like three hundred dollars now. Modern Warfare is sixty four after tax at least here, and PlayStation Network, yeah, is like what fifty bucks, fifty sixty. So they want you to drop like fucking near five hundred fucking dollars. 
just to fucking get survivor survival mode. It's bullshit. Like, who in the fuck is going to do that? Idiots, and there's a lot of fucking idiots in the world that, you know, just blindly follow what this game wants to do, and it's annoying. And, like, it, it seems apparent this year that more and more people are outspoken. And it's so good to hear. It is so good to see. Because I remember people would just roll over for this shit, but people expect more out of their games and want more out of their games now. And it's so nice to see that, you know, people aren't just rolling over anymore. And I just hope it makes a difference and that they're seeing, that Activision is seeing what they're doing to these fucking players. Because it's, it's honestly, it's bullshit. Like, like th there's no game that needs a new publisher quite like Call of Duty needs one because it, it, it's it's bad it's, it's it's gotten so bad and you know until Call of Duty breaks free of Ac Activision I don't think it'll ever change which is really annoying because I I love Call of Duty like I grew up on this game I love I love playing it like the new ones like you know still I there's still something I can find in all the new games that I at least enjoy doing even if the whole game isn't a good experience like the, the one exception is Black Ops 4 I, I think that game is the, one of the biggest pieces of shit I've ever played so uh, the, but outside of that like I was able to find something but I, I shouldn't have to resort to like you know trying to settle like like we should expect so much more because we used to get so much more and i know i'm going on a rant and i'm we're supposed to be enjoying the good times but i feel no better time to talk about it than right now message from xbox live fuck off be advised more enemy troops are converging on the tank get their asap Oh my god, that's from the the fucking meme. I never got that intel? It's right there. Jesus Christ, nine-year-old me was fucking stupid. Hold on, I just went off on a huge tangent there. <laughs> but I mean, like, am I wrong? No, I'm not, because... It, it, it's garbage like Activision has single-handedly ruined this fucking franchise but the difference is I feel like Treyarch just rolled over and did whatever the fuck Activision said and as a result Black Ops 4 is literally fucking terrible but that's why I like Infinity Ward so much or like I prefer Infinity Ward just in general even including Ghosts in Infinite Warfare because, like, it just seems that Treyarch will just do whatever the hell Activision tells him to do. Without, with, with, with no questions asked. And Infinity War, they, 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 they try and do their own thing. Like, like, they, they, they take risks with their games. Like, and I appreciate that about them. Even if people don't like their games, they, they still do what what the hell they want to do like they have creative ideas like if even if you hate ghosts even if you hate infinite warfare you have to at least admit like they have balls for doing those two games like even if you hate them like at least admit that those games took balls to create because like like seriously call of duty in space like what moron wants that right I mean, I and mean, like I was one of you guys. Like I, I when that game originally came out, I thought it was, I, I just I barely even fucking played it. I was like, fuck this. I ain't playing Cotton Space. I ain't playing fucking Star Wars. Oh fuck, where's the javelin? I don't, I don't know where it is. Fuck, I completely forgot where the javelin is. Oh, there it is. I, I, I'm, I'm talking so much I completely forgot. I got it, Vasquez. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, no reload animation? Yeah, this is self it's a self-reloading thing. Ouch. This box is gonna get me some good cover. Here we 
go. <laughs> I don't know how it locked on, even though I wasn't looking at it, but whatever. We're on the way. Here we come, don't worry. Oh, sorry, Vasquez, after you. Ladies first, aha, roasted. Come on, stop fucking going so slow. Jesus Christ, dude. Most accurate RPG shots ever. And here's Bog. Oh wow, of course these guys are camping Bog Wall. They're spawn trapping us. Spawn trapping. Bro, this, this wall right here is responsible for so many old school clips. Fucking bog wall, bog wall. Fucking Rambo. What's in here? Nothing. We gotta take out that ZPU, baby. Yeah, cover me, Lopez. George Lopez. You guys remember when you would fall asleep on the couch and then wake up at 3 in the morning to hear Lowrider and Josh Lopez? Josh Lopez. Josh Lopez. Who the fuck is Josh Lopez? Remember George Lopez fucking jumping around on your screen to Lowrider? You guys, uh... Did you guys ever listen to... Oh my god... <laughs> You guys ever listen to the corn cover of Lowrider? It's actually fucking really good. Oh, oh, sorry, Nebel. Sorry, Nebel Knievel. Oh, oh. Reload cancel. 360. And you thought. Kaboom. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. <laughs> Never meant to make your daughter cry. I gotta plant that IR beacon. Don't worry, I got it. I got it. Stop shooting at me. down there negative we got him good luck boys out group at the tank baby Oh, nice ammo count there. Listen up. We don't have much time to get this tank out of here. We'll take up defensive positions around the fog. Here, here, and here. And by the I love the fact that our game plan is written in chalk on a fucking medicinal M1 Abrams. I think I just licked my fucking can. I'm a fucking freak. 
Super freak, super freak, he's super freaky. Taking him to the safe house in Hamburg. Oh, 700 hours. Out. Oh. oh, yeah. We're getting there, all right. Would be really shitty if a missile hit us around now. Oh, fuck. What happened? There's always got to be at least one or two helicopter crashes per Call of Duty campaign. I love how Captain Price doesn't even look affected at all. He just shakes this shit off, dude. He eats fucking explosives for breakfast. Bugger. Switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. Immediately drops pistol for another primary. Haven't worked one of those in a while. Oh, death from above. Oh, what a good fucking mission. I swear to God, there were so many first-person shooters after Modern Warfare 2. After Call of Duty 4, that just tried to do Death from Above and never could replicate it as well as Modern Warfare did. Call of Duty 4 did. If I say Modern Warfare, people are going to think 2019 Modern Warfare. We've got company. We've got company. Get away, old man. Where'd he go? Where'd you go, old man? Oh, excuse me. Jesus Christ. This... This spot was never... Uh, no, this is not it. Uh, I'm thinking of another part in this game. Or this Stay mission, down. rather. Stay down. Just seeing how long I'm recording for. I'm getting up in about... Getting up to an hour in about 30 seconds. The hell is moving away. Let's go. Let's go. Oh shit. Three sixty frag. I'm gonna use this hay as some cover. love doing that. Oh, he ate my bullets. Oh, oh, get down. Oh, no, no. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, fuck. Watch out. Watch out. Flashbang. Randomly spray. Randomly spray. Like Chris Move would used to do. Spray, spray, spray. Spray, spray, spray. Does anyone else miss Chris Smooth's Call of Duty videos as much as I do? Or just Chris Smooth's videos in general? Because like, his videos from about 2010 to 2014 were so good. 
he was like the top fucking YouTuber just in general. He was literally the best Call of Duty YouTuber. He was the best 2K YouTuber. He was the best Let's Play YouTuber. He used to be on top of the fucking world. I mean, he's still an insanely fucking entertaining dude nowadays. It's just that, you know, he, he's, he's made it now. So he, he can just coast and he's fine. You know what? More power to him. He earned it. But, like, does anyone else just miss his fucking YouTube videos as much as I do? Because his modern world... I remember I would run home from school every day to go watch that man play Call of Duty. And camp his ass off. Abuse some claymores. That fucking... That e And he was the only one that used one-man army as intended. He was the only one. I remember he made this video where he was using the tack insert to, like, you know, actually spawn behind his enemy. And then he would use the one-man army class to switch to cold-blooded. The dude was so tactical, and it was, it was crazy just how he literally did everything the way it was meant to be. Like, he didn't abuse any- well, except for the claymores, he abused those, but he didn't, like- it was just so funny to me. Oh man, and all those songs, like, I still remember. Like, have you ever been noob tubed? Have you ever been noob tubed? Have you ever been noob tubed? <laughs> oh man, dude. YouTube from like 2011 to 2013 was just so prime. Oh, this is supposed to be stealthy, right? Yeah, this, yeah. This is a th this is the spot I was talking about. Like you, you, you can't, you can't, you can't advance this with being stealthy. Like it's not possible. I, I've tried so many times. I tried so hard, and I got so far, and in the end, it didn't even matter because we just got shot at anyway. Can't see me. 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 You can see me. I mean, I made it a little obvious there, because I, I already knew. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing like all the TTV sweats right now. Jumping everywhere, pre-aiming. With their Cronus Maxes. <laughs> I can't- I can't even play that- like that for more than 30 seconds. I remember when I used to take COD just so seriously. I was like, I'm still good at Call of Duty. It's just that, you know, I, I've just learned to, like, not care as much because, you know, I have no interest in going pro. I, I'm more I'm more concerned about having fun. And that's all the point of video games nowadays, isn't it? You know, fun. I remember like that, then, you know, Fortnite came along and everyone tried to become a super pro MLG money-making gamer, and people forgot that, you know, video games are supposed to be fun. Eh, but that's a conversation for another time. Flashbang, through the door. Got it, don't worry. Oh man, if only we had my uh, Titan double F double fucking FMJ. And I can just shoot this thing down in five seconds without using this. Bop. And what a bop. Bloody nice shooting there, so terrible accent, like I'm sorry. Move 
What am I looking for? Wait, wait, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Oh yeah, really grabbed the door there. <laughs> it's 2007, it's fine. Oh, we get to play Death from Above. Let's go. Bravo 6, this is Warhammer standing by. Bravo 6, this is Warhammer standing by. I heard you could probably use them. <laughs> Enemy onboard infantry, 100 meters to the southwest of our location, Elbow. at the death and destruction of hundreds. <laughs> that fucking reaction. Dude, I hope Craig Fairbrass is in fucking Modern Warfare somewhere. I need to hear that man's beautiful voice. And uh, I think this is, I think this is death from above. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah, here we go, baby. Such an iconic mission right here, dude. So iconic. We are moving up the road towards the town to the east. Confirm you have a visual on us. Good eyes on friendlies. Crew, do not fire on any target marked by a strobe. Those are friendlies. Ah, oh, my goodness. So iconic. I cannot wait to use this thing in multiplayer for Mono Warfare. Oh, I almost hit the fucking church. Damn, baby. I'm sorry I'm not talking. I'm just immersed. See, this is the crazy thing about this fucking mission is it, it, it mimics those live leak footage videos that you can see of people using AC-130 so fucking well. And it's just, it's, it's, it's insane how immersive it is. people shooting for there we go <laughs> so much fun dude it shouldn't be this fun because this is really, if you think about it, it's really fucked up. <laughs> Dude, I just used a fucking 40 millimeter fucking missile on one person.
Give us those fucking vehicles. <laughs> I, I love the fact they literally just straight up GTA hijack these fuckers. <laughs> the fucking commentary. See, the crazy thing about this is that this is just an on-rail shooter mission. Like, that's what it is, but it's just, it's so immersive, and it's, it feels real, and it's, like, it's visceral. And it just, it, it broke ground back in the day. Oh, yeah, I see that. I started engaging before I was cleared, but eh, whatever. You know what this reminds me of? Uh, did you guys ever play Spec Ops The Line? Anyone play Spec Ops The Line? Because th th that game, I remember, was... You know... That, that game was fucking crazy. And this reminds me of the, the, the white phosphorus scene where you use it on those, use it, and then you actually ex end up accidentally killing all those civilians. Which was, I, I remember first time playing that was, that was, that was, wow. That was, that was really fucked up. But the thing is though, what, like, I, I was thinking about it, because I recently played that game again, just for nostalgia's sake, and they kind of force you to do it, you know what I mean? Like, since they force you into doing it, it kind of loses its impact. Like, it's obviously very shocking. Like, don't get me wrong. Oh, fuck. I accidentally... Yep, 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 yep. Uh, I'm sorry. Whoopsies. My bad. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I felt like if it gave you the option to either not fucking demolish the civilians, like, I feel like that would have had a lot more, like, the decision would have had a lot more weight to it, you know what I mean? It, it, it was still crazy to do that. Like, that's insane that they did that for a video game. I can't I can't look that far out. I can't I can't look out that far. So these guys uh a little fucked for at the moment. Alright, let me uh let me at him. Let me at him. Okay. Here we go.
like in like the, I mean the rest of the spec ops the line like that was crazy like when they when the when the civilians hung your friend and you had the option of either letting them go or shooting them I remember I I remember I was so pissed at that cuz the cuz that guy that got hung was like he was the guy that was saying we're, we're doing this this is all wrong we're fucking killers like that was the guy who had at least like the right mind he was the one that got fucking killed so i remember i was so pissed i actually shot the fucking civilians and i remember afterwards i felt so fucking dirty for doing it so that's why i actually like that game's campaign because i mean it, it made you think oh man that was just oh i loved i loved playing that dude Death from Above is just so fucking good, dude. What a fucking iconic mission. <laughs>